All right, welcome back to the BST Podcast. We have Matt Firm on the line. He's our go-to guy at Phillips County. He's been uh, helping out tremendously with the track prep along with Bustles and Ed. Matt, how you doing? Good. How are you guys doing today? We are doing good, and we're just getting excited to get ready to head out northeast to Holyoke, Colorado for round five of the Freedom Tour. So you are you ready for us? We're ready. We're uh I believe Justin and Ed are already at the track right now, and I'm loading up, and I'll be there shortly. We're going to take a look at it. It's been uh, a little bit overcast and drizzly here today, but no major rain. So That's that's actually perfect well. for track prep, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, we had uh, – um, we were expecting a little bit more rain yesterday, and we didn't get it, but uh, we put some water on last night. Uh, bladed it and we're going to try to roll it in a little bit harder and uh, smoother than we have tonight uh, seems like every race just something happens whether it be rain or some other thing and we've just been finding fighting just a little bit of roughness but this new dirt holds moisture way better than anything we've ever had out here so it's definitely racy and fast we're just uh, learning it a little bit it's only the fifth night i guess sixth night so, well, uh, you know, the one thing, the one main reason I race dirt is because it is not consistent and it does change. Right. So me personally, <laughs> that's what I like. So uh, I can't tell oh, you yeah. guys how well you've done this year. I think it's exceptional. The track's been great. It's been racy every time, as you mentioned. Uh, and I know you mentioned rough, but that's far from rough. I've been on some Baja racetracks now that, <laughs> you know, you catch oh, air, yeah. you catch air. So I, oh, I know, yeah. no, I know I didn't catch air any time. So, uh, it, I know <laughs> no, it wasn't baby, butt smooth, terrible. wasn't baby, butt smooth, but it's been baby, butt smooth. And, and like I said, it's been two, three wide. Um, you know, it, oh, yeah. it's, uh, as far as I'm concerned, I honestly think this year is the best preparation and the best dirt work and the best, the way you compounded the banking and changed the banking. Uh, I really do honestly think Phillips County has the best racetrack that it's had, at least in the, about the 15 years I've been doing it, don't you think? Oh, I definitely think so. Uh, we've gotten positive response from just about everybody, uh, especially on the new dirt and the way it holds the moisture and the banking and uh the the extra lanes of racing that it's given us so um we've had some good uh you know criticism you know not from anybody being mean or anything but from guys that have just saw things and brought some stuff up to us just like pushing the tires out a little bit get everybody off that bottom and a few other little things and uh we're just trying to take everybody's inputs and apply them you know yep. we don't want to listen to everybody and then tell them that they're dumb and we don't want to listen, so it's they're racing on the track too. There's a lot of good, good feedback, and we're trying to get it done so that everybody's happy. Well, like you know. I said, I, I can't thank you guys enough. It's been ex, been exceptional. I think looking forward to the second half of the season. We just passed uh, midseason championships. Uh, by the way, I think you're tied for for the lead. Correct? I, oh yeah. Per, personally, yeah. <laughs> you've been doing good, having fun. So uh, yeah. Yeah, it's been a fun year for me so far. Yeah, I originally had planned to have a second car, and I was going to let a couple other guys run it just so we could get an extra car out on the track. But <laughs> as it turns out, we uh, we totaled the chassis on the last race here. So you're keeping busy uh, keeping that, your car under under your way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's how that's how no, that works. I didn't have the next one. The next one wasn't quite ready, but we had to get it ready, and it took till four fifteen in the morning last night. But uh, I'm throwing the last couple things on it right now. I'm going to stuff it in the trailer, get over to the track, and start prepping things up. So nice, I'll nice. be there all day tomorrow. I just kind of camp out. <laughs> all right, Matt. Well, I'll let you get back to work. I know you're busy, but uh, looking forward to getting out there tomorrow. And uh, it, just so everybody knows, it'll be the last time you'll be able to catch the ASCS sprint cars out there. I'm, I know the sprint cars are excited to get out there and, and open those things up. they kind of been stuck uh, at El Paso and 76, the smaller tracks. So the speed difference between those two with those sprint cars is phenomenal. So if you want to see some high-speed sprint car racing tomorrow night, 
7 p.m. ASCS Sprint Cars. We have seven divisions of IMCA along with the Dwarfs. So you'll have uh, five divisions of IMCA along with the Dwarfs. So seven divisions racing tomorrow at 7 o'clock. So make sure you guys it's get on out. Show. It's going to be a great show. Yep. And then, like I said, we're getting on the downhill side. So I think after that, we only have two shows in September left. So uh, everybody oh, needs yeah. to we don't, get out uh, and catch it. We don't get weather like this. This weather, this time of year, for us to prep this track like is about unheard of. So... Uh, I hope that mid-season dip in the car count doesn't happen because it's going to be phenomenal. There Absolutely you go. phenomenal tomorrow. Right on. All right, Matt. Now. Thanks again, and we will see you soon. Yep. See you tomorrow, Joe. Alrighty, sir. Yeah. All, right. All right. Once again, Phillips County Raceway, uh, Friday night, It'll be July 31st, 7 p.m. It'll be our fifth round of our Freedom Tour in Holyoke, Colorado. As we said, as we mentioned, ASCS Sprint Cars will be on hand. We'll have five divisions of IMCA along with the Dwarfs, so you don't want to miss that one. Also, we're doing Fan Appreciation Night, so all the drivers bring candy and some toys. We'll uh, bring all the cars out on the front chute. Uh, they'll give that out during intermission and or at the end of the night, depending on when we do it. But uh, you got Fan Appreciation, ASCS Sprint Cars, lots of racing. All the grandstands are open, all the concessions are open, and the beer garden's open. It's the way the world should be. So if you want to get back in time, uh, we're even giving away champagne to the winners uh, like we used to. So champagne to the winners, big trophies, uh, just good times. Make sure you come on out Friday, the 31st, 7 p.m., Phillips County, Holyoke, Colorado. Thank you.